Well, first of all, I, I think I'm gonna have about three or four dresses for like the three day events. I am in the wedding for the dresses. Like I have no shame in it. I was like, I'm going to change as many times as humanly possible. Did you guys have the same vision from the start? Was this like an <laughs> easy process? Tell me a little bit about planning a wedding. From well, your I'll speak for myself. It's easy because I was like, I don't want to plan a wedding. <laughs> and Blaine was like, I want to plan a wedding. And he's actually really organized and really good at planning stuff. So he has literally taken over. I'm in charge of like my dresses and a couple other things like gift bags and invitations, which is fun for me. And every morning I wake up to like 10 different emails between him and our planner. Oh and I'm like, okay, cool. I'm happy to just show up. <laughs> oh my God. I love that. Was that. Were you surprised when you wanted to take that on? Or was that something when you were dating, you were like, this guy's, you know, he's organized. He, he might be into this. <laughs> I think I kind of knew that he was organized and was going to be into it. But yeah, I mean, I'm, you know, I'll be 36. I think my vision at 36 for a wedding is definitely different different than it was at 26. Mm -hmm. um, so I feel like I'm a lot more chill about it. I was going to say, was there something that you remember, Bachelorette Andy, wanting at a wedding that you would maybe even laugh at now to be oh like, my oh gosh. my God. <laughs> Great question. I think it's probably just more of the size of the wedding I wanted and like the whole like drama fairy tale aspect of it. And now we're doing like a destination wedding totally opposite. <laughs> There you go. It's like maybe yeah. even get them married on TV back in the day. You get small yeah. back now. You're like, yeah, yeah, right. No. Yeah. yeah, definitely not this time. <laughs> um, what about with the dress? Is it, I know you can't tell me obviously what you picked, but yeah. do you have more than one? And was it something that you, it, did it go how you expected or did you end up with something you, you didn't know you were going to like? Well, first of all, I, I think I'm gonna have about three or four dresses for like the three day events. I am in the wedding for the dresses. Like I have no shame in it. I was like, I'm going to change as many times as humanly possible. Um, but I went up to New York and one of my friends is a bridal stylist, which has been like a godsend. It's amazing. I never even knew they, that people like did that. Mm -hmm. And it has just been incredible. So we go to New York. It's been so fun. Um, I will say my main dress, Mark Ingram, I'm not sure if you know of him, but he's mm -hmm. like legendary in the bridal world in New York. He's designing it custom. And so I literally was there last Friday and we're like cutting the fabric and tucking stuff and doing the muslin fitting. So that part has been like a dream for me, to be honest. Didn't you, you were in, you like dabbled in a lot of fashion stuff. Like you were making your own dress. I don't know if you still oh, do, weren't yeah. you making dresses? I mean, I still do. Yeah, yeah, I still do. There's a chance that I make something like the party dress or we'll see. But yeah, I love all of it. Like I love gowns. I'm so here for the dresses. Like that is definitely what I'm excited about. <laughs>